this corner, the challenger, fighting out of the hard corner, from Tehachape, California, forged in the flames of chaos, it's Andy, the ill communicator, Die Hard! And his opponent, fighting out of the core corner, from parts unknown, weight unknown, reason he didn't pick minor threat in the straight edge Super 7, unknown. It is the reigning, defending, undisputed 185 Mile South Trivia Champion of the World, Daniel, these questions are too easy, Sant! Okay, the first question goes to Andy Diehard. Here we go. This California straight edge band released albums on Youngblood, Bridge Nine, and featured Dan Sant on backups for their 7-inch on t Records, which featured the songs Roll With The Punches and Off My Chest. Carry on. A point to Andy Diehard. Get and now we go. I Dan didn't get blanked. <laughs> I didn't get shut out. I know. Want to know. What's up? All right, Dan. What was the address of the Hollywood location of Mystic Records? And how many miles was it from the Space Needle in Seattle, Washington? <laughs> um, okay. 69 Melrose Avenue and 2,700 miles to the Space Needle. Not too far off. The address does start with a six. It's 6277 Selma Avenue. Los Angeles, California, 90028. And it is approximately 1,130 miles from the Space Needle. Ah. But to your real question, <laughs> uh, the singer of this band is known by the moniker Stickman. They put out an LP on Victory Records in 1998 called At War With The World. And they all wear puffer vests really well. It is Fury of Five. Boom. Point to Daniel. We're all tied up. Okay. Back to Andy. This pre-annihilation time band featured Ben Edge, a.k.a. Bedge, a.k.a. Ben Merlis on vocals <laughs> and had the classic, the classic song Skate Punks, which they infamously played twice in one night at the Shea Cafe in San Diego. <laughs> fields of Fire. The, the Fields of Fire. <laughs> Legendary. We'll, we'll accept the Fields of Fire. Or Fields right. of Fire. Perfect. Actually, okay. let's take it to Ian and to see if we'll accept that. I forgot to plug that in. You got to remember. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I should I should have had that ready to go. Also, do you want to explain that joke or no? You, you want to know who uh, made them play it twice? It was uh, Rob Moran and myself just screaming for it <laughs> over and I, over again. <laughs> I believe I brought some heat too, Dan. But okay. that's cool. And probably a little Don as well. Definitely. And okay. Chad skating around in the chain was great too. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> back to Dan. What is Nemesis Records number one? Oh. Um, I don't want to be wrong on this. Ben, you know, you know what to tell me. Oh no, I'm going to get hit with the, the music, huh? <laughs> I mean, John Brandon knows what to tell I you. can't take this pressure! I was thinking that it was chorus, but it has to be something earlier than that. So, uh, VD, 7-inch? Ben. Do we accept VD seven? Oh, visual, visual discrimination. I mean, man, I think we accept it. Visual discrimination. Uh, step back and listen. LP. We'll give LP. It to you. LP. We'll give it to you for uh, visual discrimination. Shit. Shit. We're gonna give you the uh, point, Dan. So don't don't sulk. Okay, right. I won't sulk. But you gotta you gotta uh, brush up on your nemesis history, or Big Frank might be uh, tapping you on the shoulder pretty soon. I know I don't want to be tapped on the shoulder and I did enjoy the big Frank interview one eight five. Get in the archives, people. 
Handle that. Okay, Andy, back to you. All right. True or false? Revelation Records number one, the Warzone Lower East Side Crew 7-inch, came out the same year as the film Revenge of the Nerds Part 2, Nerds in Paradise. <laughs> Oh, which man. was a t- which was a TV movie, by the way. Well, Dan, wh- don't be incorrect in someone else's time. <laughs> I'm not. That was a part, real movie. Part three was a TV movie. Two was that is correct, movie. Ben. Point to Ben. <laughs> but Andy, <laughs> true or false? <laughs> man, I have no idea when that movie came out. I'm gonna say false. And Dan, we're gonna shoot it to you for the steal. <laughs> true. <laughs> a it. point to Dan. <laughs> It is true. The, the Warzone 7 Age came out the same year as Revenge of the Nerds Part 2, also known as Nerds in Paradise. Okay, Dan. Also Under- known as the film when Ogre um, becomes a nerd. Ogre and, turns face. And, yeah. he's, and he's staring at the sky and he says, what if D-O-G, what if D-O-G spells cat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Okay, Dan. Undertow put out a seven inch and an LP on this Seattle hardcore label. Excursion. A point to Daniel. Daniel, pitching a shutout plus a steal. Dang. Handling business. Okay. Andy, Willie, Ma- Willie Mays Hayes style. <laughs> Willie Mays Hayes. All right. Back to you, Andy. All right. According to the Chromag song, Show You No Mercy, when is singer John Joseph going to show you no mercy? Is it A? When you're taking your fall, is it B today? Is it C when you're moving on your way or D all of the above? Oh, I'm going to say a Dan, let's go to you for the steal. <laughs> D all of the above. Yeah. A point to Dan. Very yeah. good. Okay. Back to Dan for your question. <laughs> a cartoon dog. And also the great New York hardcore band that wrote the song, Say It to My Face. Underdog. Boom. Another point to Dan. Just stacking them up, dude. (laughs) Showing what the championship is all about. Love it. Okay, Andy, to you for your question number five. Singer, uh, excuse me, the singer of fear, Lee Ving, claims he loves living in this place. L.A.? Edge, accept it or unaccept it? Los Angeles. Um, I, I I'm not accepting that, but we, we'll take All it right. to Dan. See if he, he can get it. Okay, we go to Dan for the steal. The city. Oh, point to Dan. All right, and back to Dan for your number five. <clears throat> Time for your multiple choice. Is the first song on the Twenty Five to Life album keeping it real? A Wise to the game. B. Duck, isn't it duck what? game? Let me start. Can you the wait question for him over. to ask the question. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, eager beaver over here. Is the first song on the 25 to Life album keeping it real? A. Wise to the game. B. Wise to the game. T H A. C. Wise to the game. Or D. None of the above. <laughs> I apologize for chiming in too early, but you know, I gotta give respect to RTL NYHD King Wise to the game. Yeah. A point to Dan. And yeah, sometimes you just know it. You, you gotta shout it out. But uh let the question breathe, man. Come yeah, on. but it's a it's proof that I am wise to this game. Oh I could have I could have had that <laughs> instead of none of the above. That would have been way better. Are you the Rick to life of the <laughs> Rick to life of the trivia? I know, right? Okay, Andy, your question right. number six: <laughs> True or false? One of the color variations of the Strife Seven Inch Gray was released on gray vinyl. True. Point to Andy. Know. All right. Back Thank in God. the game. Thank God. Back <laughs> in yeah. the game. The game. The game. Yeah. Or or the game with an A. <laughs> Okay, we go back to Dan for question number six. Dan, what brand of shoes appear on the cover of the 411 album, This Isn't Me? Vans. Point to Daniel. 
Pitching the perfect game. Good God, man. You're living up to your nickname. These questions are too easy. <laughs> no, he did get the address of Mystic wrong. Not quite perfect. That's true. That's true. That's true. And he overshot the Space Needle thing by like 700 miles. So in price of price is right, you're, you're over, dude. You're done. Okay. Here we go. To Andy. Andy, in the final question, round right. number seven. In the 10-yard fight song, Pit of Equality, what are the Straight Edge brothers singing together in the pit? Uh, I mean, you just talked about this in your last episode, too. Um, or the Straight Edge episode. We're all brothers in the pit tonight. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. Uh, no one goes home with a black eye if you're not high. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, Pen, what are we doing here? We're looking for what they are singing in the pit together. I try to take this pressure, 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 pressure. Oh, man. I'm drawing a blank then. Dan will get this. I don't know if I will. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank then. Okay, we're shooting it to Dan. In the 10 yard fight song, Pit of Equality. What are the straight edge brothers singing together in the pit? It's doesn't it go straight edge brothers in the pit together singing straight edge songs, something together, something like that. Oh, ben, man. Are we accepting this or not? That's a really close one because I, they, saying, I, I think we're going to not give that to you since we gave you the VD seven inch when it was an, LP. that's true. That's a good point. It is so, straight edge anthems. Anthems. Okay. Anthems. Straight edge All right. Anthems. All right. So, you know, I don't think wrench would have accepted that answer. So we're not either, man. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Dan, your question number seven. Okay. Okay. This 1992 LP compilation on excursion records was reissued on victory distribution distribution and featured strife mouthpiece lifetime and unbroken i know this one it's for life boom dan almost pitched the shutout got a couple steals Dan, let's go to you for the final tally final tally is uh andy diehard three dan sant 10 dan sant is the victor victor still champion Dan, good game, man. Good good game Andrew. Good game, Andrew. Dan, you're the Man City to my Liverpool this year. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Shout out Crystal Palace and the Solos de Tijuana. Solo 